was gonna talk about overcoming resistance and uh, if you notice lately my last few topics have been about uh, procrastination and uh, how you should just keep going and you know just break free or eat your frog so it's mostly about resistance overcoming resistance is what I wanted to talk about um, a while ago I shared a book that I'm reading right now she means business by Carrie Green it's an amazing book um, if you get your hands on it um, you should read it so this comes from a part of today's live comes from that um, so let's talk about resistance why do we resist um, a while ago I talked about procrastination and uh, so it's kind of in continuation with that that uh, we need to understand are we really procrastinating or are we resisting so is it just resistance and why do we resist so in this book Kerry Green talks about the three C's of resistance um, the three C's are either there's lack of clarity or lack of competence or lack of confidence so lack of clarity is that we just don't know what we need to do or we haven't figured out yet what our purpose in life is what really we want to achieve and that's why there's resistance um, lack of competence we just don't know how just just you know we still are learning we still need to figure it out we don't know how to do this or the last one is lack of confidence and that is um, sometimes we let our fears or our doubts just hold us back and that is where the lack of confidence is so those are the three C's that usually um, are the reasons that why we resist um, lack of clarity um, as I said we still don't know our purpose uh, what can we do about it well the first thing is to become aware well, first, if we become aware that we are actually resisting, um, as they say that acceptance is the first step to solve a problem, once we have accepted the fact that we are resisting, then we can at least, you know, think about how we can uh, clear out uh, our mind and how we can know what's our purpose. And there's a lot of exercises you can do to find your purpose in life. The best way is to look in your past and see what has motivated you in the past or what was, what is your best, pa what is your... Uh, passion or what is it that you repeated repeated repetitively do in life um, is it something uh, for example for me I know that um, I still I'm still working out on my purpose but I know that I love helping others in the past I have always enjoyed um, talking to my friends and if they are facing a problems helping out with them so I just help love helping others and so, you know, look at your past and see what are the things that you have enjoyed or what are the things that have given you some kind of satisfaction. Maybe even uh, on a daily basis, just at the end of the day when you go to bed, think what was the one thing that made me really, really happy today. And as you start noticing that, you will see a pattern. You'll see a pattern arising. And maybe that's what your purpose in life is. And that's when you'll realize that, oh my God, you know, there is a pattern in, th in this. Whenever I say, oh, at bed bedtime okay this is what made me really happy today and then you'll be like hmm maybe you know this is what I need to focus on in my life uh, as you see those patterns um, lack of competence you know become a pro learn learn about it the first step to doing anything in life is to take that first step and learn ask people ask questions uh, find the resources go to a library um, I mean you don't even need a library you have everything at the click of a a thumb or a scroll of a finger you know so get that information learn about it because as you start learning about things you might figure out that oh this is not for me or you might know that yeah this is it this is what I want to do so become a pro um, lack of confidence um, you know what just just do it just start so for example these go lives um, if you go back and look at some of my go lives you'll see that I was kind of shaking I was like um, um, you know all those arms were there and they're still there they're still there but you know what just do it don't think about what others would say the only biggest thing that stops you from doing things is what will others think about me or what will others say stop thinking about it they do not decide your life for you you are the decision maker for your own life they're not going to help help and come pay your bills or they're not going to solve your problems for you so the best way that's one thing if you want to take away from today is don't think what others would think just do it you know it could be it couldn't maybe it's not something that you have to go live in front of so many people maybe it's you know and then you don't even have to worry about what others would say but just do it so I'm going to talk about uh, 
So that's the three C's that usually stop us and a little t uh, tidbits there about how you can resist that. But let's go step by step. If you're, let's say, resisting a task, how would you overcome it? Um, the first step is to become aware. So if you know that you're resisting, then it's easy to solve it. So become aware and then you can easily fight it. Um, sometimes we don't know that we're resisting a task. So uh, think, uh, look at your list and see what is one thing that has not been done in a week and you've just been putting it, I'll do it later, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it the day after. And then becoming aware of that is going to help you actually you know, move to the second step. Um, uh, if you're just scrolling on browsing through the internet or scrolling on your Facebook feed or, or just watching a YouTube video or something, um, that's when you need to become aware that, oh, what am I doing right now? Is this my top priority or is there something on my list that needs to be done? And once you become aware, you'll, you'll realize that every time you're doing something that's not adding to your day, you will be becoming aware faster. You know, it will it will become a habit. It will kind of become a second nature to become aware of when you're resisting something. So that was the first thing. Uh, maybe you know what? Write a big, take a big piece of paper and write on it. Overcome resistance and put it on the top of your desk where you work or somewhere you'll see it. And that way, every time you look at it, you'll be like, "Oh, I need to get something done. I, I'm resisting right now. I need to move on." The second step is to uh, be clear and focus. So. You can't finish everything in one day. You might have a huge list of things to do. So prioritize, become clear in what's most important. Maybe every day pick three things that are really, really important for that day. They need to be done today. Put them on the top of the list. Um, I don't know, put a star against them or circle them or something. So three things that are most important. And then whenever you start to distract away from them or you start doing something else, stop yourself and say, oh, did I get my three things done? Did I eat my frog of the day? Uh, um, you got to watch that eat my frog video if you want to know what I'm talking about. Um, so eating your frog is basically doing your most important task of the day first thing in the morning. So did I eat my frog of the day? So stop yourself and, you know, uh, step, uh, step back and continue back uh, to those three most important tasks that you have listed. Anyways, so the third, uh, the next step is to, the third step is, to clear away the distractions, you know, and that's a really hard thing to do sometimes. Um, what you could do is have a schedule. Um, I get distracted very easily, I've noticed, and uh, there's a few people that I follow and I love watching their videos and uh, um, Caleb Maddox and Matt, Matt Maddox is one of them and then I, I do follow um, Rob, I follow you. Um, I follow uh, Ty Lopez, I follow Tony Robbins. So there's a few um, lives that I like to watch. But I was what I was noticing is that as I'm in the middle of doing something, I'll get a notification saying, oh, someone is live. And I would stop doing that and start, and I would go and watch that live video. And that was uh, distracting me. And uh, um, what I did is uh, in my schedule, I set up a time to watch, catch up on all the lives. So I go back and I watch those replays, um, but I don't stop what I'm doing. So I remove the notifications um, or, or the notifications, a couple of them that I really want, don't want to miss. The notification still comes, but I quickly write a note that, okay, uh, you know, Matt was online and he did a live. And then when I have a set hour, which is my training hour or my learning hour in that I go back and watch those lives. So, you know, just clear away those distractions. Maybe set up a voicemail for that one hour that you are working on a task. Set up a voicemail. Let people leave a voicemail. Let them know in advance that, you know, I only answer my phone calls between this and this time or, you know, do an out of office message or something like that. That way no one would distract you. If you're working in an office, you know, maybe someone walks by your cubicle. Sometimes just that's just impossible. So just let them know, can I come back to you? I'm working on something important. I'll come catch up with you, oh, right? So things like that. So clear away those distractions, which leads to this next step is setting up a schedule. I already talked about that, that I have set up a schedule for myself. The shift from be being an employee to an entrepreneur was really hard. I was getting distracted a lot. I was taking my own time because, hey, I'm a free bird. I can do whatever I want. And I noticed that I was spending too much time on just you know being on youtube or being on social media instagram or or even you know sometimes just catching a 
show on TV or something. So set up a schedule for yourself and then stick to it. Make sure you stick to it. Maybe, you know, put a reward system for finishing your tasks. Um, the next thing that I'm going to tell the biggest, it's actually the biggest thing that would help you overcome resistance. And that is know your why. What is your why? You know, once you know that this is my why and your why should be really big, it should be really big that you, you are able to finish your tasks to achieve that why. So know what your why is. Why are you here? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why is it important to you? And how doing this is going to help you achieve you that why. Once you know your why, nothing can stop you. Trust me, nothing can stop you. You will overcome any resistance once your why is really, really high, like really big, you know. Your why has to be big enough. It has to be strong enough for you to take that step and keep moving in that direction. The last one, I don't want to take too much of your time. I, I, I value your time. The last thing that I want to say is just start doing it because sometimes that's the only way to get things done. If you don't know what's the steps, if you don't know how, just start. Um, again, I'm going to give example of my go lives. I wasn't sure how I'm going to do it. So I just one day clicked on the camera. I was in the park with my son and I just clicked on the camera and just started talking. Um, and that's the best way to get it done. You know, just start like, you know, maybe put a timer. Once you have a schedule, put an alarm on your phone. We have all these gadgets. Use them. Help. They will help you put an alarm and, you know, just sit down and start. If you're a blogger, you know, you need to write. Just set up a time for writing. Don't think, oh, I'm going to wait until creativity kicks in. No, just sit and start doing it. And that's the best way to do it. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. Overcome your resistance. Um, you know, uh, send me a message if you have any questions or if there's something you would like to t me to talk about, let me know. So, and if you really think, think that, you know, this, this added value to you, please share my video. Oh, have a sunny life. Bye.